Hello everybody, you guessed it. Welcome back to another episode of Trackmaster Thomas and Friends Game Show. It has been a while since we did another episode. Yeah, time does fly by fast. So we have to fill in the gaps for November. Also, Thomas's younger days and Trackmaster Thomas and Friends already has their third seasons, so we're behind. Oh, I guess you're right, Percy. We gotta catch up. And this time, instead of three contestants, we will do five contestants. I know! And the winner will get this iPod. Sick! So yeah, it already has games and text messages and all that stuff built in. And this time, instead of the, the new... Wait, did we use the new Windows 11 laptop? I don't think. Oh, okay. So we will use the HP Windows 10 laptop. Alright. Let me go turn up the volume because I want it to be. And this will be a Halloween trivia episode, so. Wait, my mom? Wait, your mom is joining the game? I think so. Alright, who is next? Huh, Lexi isn't that bad. Okay, who is next? We got two people. We just need three more. Hey, Gator! Okay. Alright, two more spots left. Ben? Well, okay. Alright, one more spot left. Who will it go to? Oh no. Oh no 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 no. Please. You have to be kidding me. It's Diesel. It out of all the people this thing could have chose. It chose Diesel. The worst character ever. I know, right? Alright, Thomas. Send in the cast. Alright, you guys can go. Wait, this is a game show? Well, speak of the jack o lanterns I hope James is here. Hehe, <laughs> I like to prank people. Hey, yo, what's good, my boys? All right, Percy. Looks like we got all of our contestants. Well, that's great, Thomas. So anyways, you guys pick a side that makes someone happy or Percy takes the plunge. Those are your two teams. Um, okay. I'll pick make someone happy. Because I like to make people happy. Eh. I like water. Eh. <laughs> I like to prank people. Eh. Make someone happy. I want to make someone sad. But I'll take this side. And, yeah, I like making people happy too. Okay, okay, Percy. We officially got our teams. Now it's time to do the Halloween quiz. All right, Thomas. Let's do this. All right. We will only do like 20, so. And you guys each get like. 10 seconds each to answer these questions. All right, anyways, on to the first one. In which country did Halloween originate from? Is it going to display like the, like, the, like the three different answers or something? 
Uh, I don't know. Well, you guys figure it out. And no using technology. Okay, jeez. All right, guys. I think we got to work together. Work together? That's for nerds. I know, but this is like the only way we're going to get this right. All right. Think about it. Which country did Halloween originate from? I don't know. Ireland? All right. I think that will be our answer. Ah, oh, so tricky. Oh, wait, I think I know. Pizza Hut. No, that's a plate. That's a, that's a, that's a restaurant, not a, not a, not a country. The United Kingdom. Oh, yeah, KKK. All right, let's answer it. All right, ding, ding, bong. Time is up. All right, let's start with you make someone happy. Um, United Kingdom. <laughs> Mom. I I know you're smarter than that. Come on. It's obviously not from United Kingdom. Alright, how about you, Percy Takes the Plunge? Um, Ireland. Ding, bing, bong. That is correct. Originated from the Celtic Festival of Samothrace like 2,000 years ago in Ireland. Huh. All right, this point goes to Percy Takes the Plunge. Ding! Okay, you know what, Percy? I kind of feel like there's something wrong. What? There's three on that team, and there's two on that team. What do you think we should do? Um, subtract one player. I was thinking of, like, adding a player. Oh, yeah, good idea. All right, guys. We will be stopping the quiz because we got to, like, you know, add one more person to make someone happy. All right. Wheel of Names. Give us our next contestant. Oh, okay. I'll check. Okay. <laughs> well, Simon, I'm the Bing Bong. Salty will be coming. Alright, I think Salty will be coming soon, so you guys, you got yourself a new teammate. Oh, boy! Alright, Thomas, it's time for the next question. What was the or original use to, well, what was the originality to use to make jack-o'-lanterns before pump pumpkins? Hey, that's actually kind of a good question. Oh, yeah. All right, two teams, figure it out. Okay, okay, okay. I think I know what. And don't and all right. I think I I think it's radish. Ooh, good one, good one, good one. All right, guys, what do you think? We we're like one point ahead of make someone happy, so we have to do something. Oh wait, I have an idea. I think I might know what the answer is. All right, Gator, what's the answer? I think it's turnips or beetroot. All right, let's go. All right, um, let, 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 let's go. Let's go with turnips. All right, sweet. Salmon on the bing bong. Time is up. All right, it's time to see what the answer is. Hollowed out turnips. All right, I'm going to assume that Percy takes the plunge, got it right. Yeah, we did got it right. All right, so Percy takes the plunge. Let me get my pencil. You get another point. Make someone happy. Percy takes the plunge is, like, already crushing you guys. You guys got to get, like, three points to get ahead of them. All right, on to the next question. What does the word Dracula mean? I think it's pretty obvious. Don't blurt out the answer. I right, make someone happy and Percy takes the plunge. You already know what time it is. Okay, I think it means vampires. Vampires? I think it is a son of a dragon. You mean son of a... No. 
don't. Sorry. Yeah, I think it's like Son of Dracula or Dragon. Yeah, I think that's it. All right. And the answer is Son of Dracula or Dragon. All right. Which one of you guys got it? I think it was Vampire. That is a good one, but it is not correct. But since you guys were, like, actually paying attention to the question, I'll give you guys a point. There you go. You guys earned yourself a point for once. Yay! All right, how about you, Percy Takes the Plunge? Um, Dragon or Dracul? Yep, you guessed it. Three strike points. You guys are rocking it. All right, on to the next one. Ooh, this one's a true or false. True or false. Dracula has a sidekick. Wait, he does have a sidekick. I think, wait, oh yeah, I think his name is Renfield. Renfield? You mean like Garfield? Oh, it's Garfield that is like, no, it's... Garfield's not his psychic, it's Ranfield, or whatever it is. Yeah, Dracula does not have a sidekick. Like, there's no way he doesn't. Like, there's no way he has a sidekick. Yeah, it's obvious, like, he does. Like, there's no way he has a sidekick. Shamanumba bing bong, time is up. All right. Um, all right, let's go and make someone happy. Did you, all right, what is the answer? His sidekick is Renfield. Okay, okay. How about you, Percy Takes the Plunge? Um, yeah, he doesn't have a sidekick. Are you sure? Yes. Are you mega sure? Yes. Are you super duper ooper twooper mooper wooper sure? Yes. All right, then. The answer is... He has a sidekick. Ooh, Percy takes the plunge. You just lost yourself a point. Wait, what? And make someone happy just ganged. An extra point. Oh, great. We're tied with the make someone an idiot. Hey, don't call us stupid. All right, on to the next question. True or false, Halloween is the biggest consumer holiday in the U.S. Yeah, we all know this one. Yeah, it, it, it is not. Yeah, like, it's Christmas, duh. Christmas, you get presents. Like, why, like, why wait until the 31st of October to get candy where you can just get candy, like, every single day of the year? Like, it's so stupid. Why do you have to wait till the last day of October to get candy? We can, like, get candy, like, every single day. Yeah, I know. Like, it just questions Halloween. You can dress up every single day. You don't have to dress up once a year. I mean, yeah, whoever invented Halloween is stupid. Like, they must be really stupid. Yeah, whoever invented Halloween must be really dumb. Because we can just dress up. And get candy like every single day of the year. 365, 2407. Yeah, I have got to agree with you. This is an easy question, but we'll find out the answer. Uh. Alright. Guess the scrambled Halloween word. We will be skipping this. Oh, it's cackle? Oh, okay. All right, we're skipping that. All right, here's the actual good one. What is the definition of the word hallow? You mean is when you can, like, say Halloweenies? You're automatically disqualified. What? I'm just kidding. I'll let you guys figure it out. And we will be right back after this commercial break. Did you ever want your teeth to feel sweet? Do you ever want it to go to the dentist again after you ate 1,500 cookies 
but we got something for you. Tasty cakes, tasty cakes. Chocolate icing, white icing. So god dang beautiful, you just want to rip your hands into the TV and grab that delicious tasty cake. With cream filling in the middle. So delicious, just for your teeth. So try the all brand new Tasty Cakes. Only $2.99. Have you ever said to your parents, Mom, I don't want those nasty Chips Ahoy cookies from three years ago. How is it still not expired? Well, we got a solution for you. Introducing this is the Justin Studios cookie, fresh out of the oven. So hard, it can bust your teeth open. So delicious. When you immediately take that first bite out of that cookie, you know it can cure cancer. Mm-hmm. Let's play that again, shall we? So try the all brand new Justin Studios cookies. Go buy them now. Only for 10,562,892 hugs. All right, all right. Welcome back to another episode of Track Master Thomas Friends Game Show. All right, so um, you, did you guys figure it out yet? Yeah, is it a holy person? Ding, bing, bong. You guys officially got it right. Now you guys earn another point. Uh-oh. Percy takes the plunge. Makes someone happy. Just got a one-point lead. You guys need to get those few extra points back. Anyways, it's time for the next question. All right. Which word did the word bonfire originate from? Bonfire? That's not a ha Halloween word. I don't even know. All right, let's go skip it. Okay. All right. What? Which famous magician died on Halloween? Wait. Somebody died on Halloween. Very spooky. Oh man. All right, you guys go figure it out. Can we use our phones? No. All right, fine. God dang. All right, guys, let's go figure it out. All right, time's up. Who got it? I did. Is it Harry Potter Houndini? Um, you got the first name right. You got the rest wrong. Aw. How about you, Percy Takes the Plunge? Is it Harry Houndini? And bing, bing, bong, that is correct. You guys got your extra point back. Yeah, baby. All right, on to the next one. According to superstition, if you stare into a mirror at midnight on Halloween, you will see what? Wait. Did somebody even try that? I don't even know. Let them figure it out. Oh, yeah. We already know this one. Stop the timer! Wait, what do you mean? What's wrong? We already know the answer. I'm the future spouse. Oh, dang. I didn't actually know that. All right. You guys get an extra point. All right. On to the next question. Who was the author of the famous novel, Frankenstein? Oh, please, that's easy. All right, then what is it? Mary Shelby. Dang, you guys are on it. All right, Percy takes the plunge. You get another point. Yeah, yeah. All right, on to the next one. Which country is the region of Transylvania located in? Well, speak of trivia, 
We gotta end this episode early. What? What? Why, Thomas? Why do we have to end the episode early? Um, because I got stuff to do, you know? Oh, yeah, makes sense. Wait, why is the camera shaking? Hey, hey, mm, mm, mm. Thomas, you're just gonna break it. Look, it's fixed now. Alright, I hope y'all enjoy this is a very long episode, and we will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.